Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm doing an interview with Patrick Hoban, and you guys want to be asking some questions. Question number one Are you going to continue with Dragon Rulers? Nah, they're dead. They're dead? Yeah. Alright, what's this? They want me to ask you a question <laughs> with the upstart theory. Okay. Even though you wrote articles about this. Wait, what about it? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I just think, like, if you have fewer cards in your deck, you just draw the good ones from one. All right. They said, "Ask Hoban, what deck will he play in the new format as of right now?" I mean, it seems like Spellbooks, and I know Dalton's happy about it. I'm so happy. Right now. Uh, Spellbooks, uh, Infinity seem really good, just because they can do unfaithing. Good ain't it sucks. Uh, Mermails, probably those. Like, All right. Try out those. Ask him what he recognized the reason he become much better as of late. He used to used to used to use the bubble a lot. Yeah. What like changed for you? Um well I pretty much learned how to side deck. Like before I really the side deck sided out very wrong. I would side out like combo cards and you know siding like you know whatever's good against it. Like if I was hanging in goes and match, I would, you know, take out like pieces of my interest and then when I learned that you should not do that. Okay. Just draw better. Yeah. Next question. Why spell books are just in general? Because everybody said you always used to hate on spell books. Nah, I mean, I never hated on them. I just always thought dragons were better. But like, if dragons were non existent, yeah. If dragons are non existent, then I'm you would sure be playing, playing spell books. Yeah. I see. Why are you playing three dragon shrines? And does it ever clog for you? Why are you playing blue eyes engine? Why are you, why are you playing the key model over a trigon? Okay, uh, dragon shrine. Uh, it essentially just gives you more dragons in the mirror. Like if you open just a few elements, you can if you dragon shrine into guard, send white stone, and then send blue eyes. Like you're just really far ahead with three shrines. You'll just always have more dragons than them in the mirror. And uh, you know. Uh, White Stone and Blue Eyes pretty much the same thing. Like it just gives you those extra dragons. And uh, what was the last question? Why are you playing uh, Kimoto? Uh, or, um, or, yeah. Well, I would play Kidmoto even if I weren't playing Blue Eyes because if you have like double Redox and you banish one, it gives you like an extra thing to search other than just a Redox. Like if you banish the uh, Blaster, you, you'll have Guard. If you banish the Tempest, you'll have uh, Debris. But with Redox, it gives you like that extra like value if you have multiple Redoxes. Mm -hmm. And it's also just even better uh, with Blue Eyes because it lets you go into Azure Eyes, which is really, really strong. All right. Thanks, Pat. This was a quick interview. Yep. Are you going to any more Circuit Series? Yep. Uh, I'll probably be at all of them. I'll definitely be at Nashville. You'll be at Nashville? Yep. All right, guys. See you guys later. Yeah.